Module 8, Segment 1 Working with Repair Orders The objective of this training segment is to prepare a repair order for a part in stock. Please note that this session assumes you have already reviewed Modules 1 through 7. To begin, select the Repair Order icon arrow and select Add. The Browsing Company window opens. Select the Find Action button and then select Company Name. Notice that you may search by any one of the other criteria listed on the menu. Type the name of the repair facility in the Company Name field. A partial entry is allowed. Select OK. A browser opens listing the companies that match the name you typed. If there is no match, the browser is empty and you may select Add to create the company. To select the company from the browser, double-click anywhere on the line. The Adding Repair Order window opens. This is the header of the repair order. It contains the repair facility's name and address, contact information, terms, and shipping information. All of this information is automatically filled in from the saved company record. You may change or add any information at this time. Select OK to save the header record and open the repair order window. Let's take a moment to become familiar with the repair order window. The repair order is divided into four panels with the action buttons along the bottom of the window. The top panel contains the header information. The second panel contains the list of items to be repaired. The third panel displays receiving and shipping information. And the last panel contains item notes. Now, we will add the part that needs to be sent out for repair. Select the Add Action button. The Adding Repair Order item window opens. Type the inventory item number in the Part Number field and press Enter. If the part is not in the table, a blank browser opens from which you may add the item number. Type the quantity you are sending out for repair in the Quantity Out field. For this example, we will type in 2. After typing in the quantity, the Stock Line Reservation window opens. Available stock is listed in the lower panel labeled Stock on Hand. To reserve the parts, Double-click anywhere on the line. The reservation window opens, displaying the quantity going out for repair. Select OK. The reserved stock now displays in the upper panel labeled Selected Stock Lines. Close the window to return to the Adding Repair Order item window. Type the condition of the part, such as serviceable. The field labeled New Part is used if the part is to be modified and the part number will change after the repair. If that is the case, type the modified part number in this field. When the part is received, it will be under the modified part number. The fields for part, labor, and miscellaneous costs may be completed if you have estimated costs that you wish to enter at this time. Select OK to save the details and return to the Repair Order window. 
You now see the part displayed in the Items section of the Repair Order window. Now, we will add a note to be included on the printed repair order. Select the Notes action button. The Notes for Item Number 1 window opens. Type the text of the note in the window and select OK. From the Repair Order window, the notes are now visible in the bottom panel. We will also send out piece parts on the repair order. These are parts you supply to the repair facility that will be used in the repair of the item. Select the Miscellaneous Action button. The Miscellaneous Options window opens. Select Piece Parts. The Piece Parts for RO Item window opens. Select the Add Action button to add the list of piece parts shipping with the main component. The Adding Piece Part window opens. Type the part number in the field provided and then type in the number of units shipping in the quantity field. Leave the Customer Stock box unchecked. Select OK. We now see the list of piece parts. We need to reserve the piece parts. Select Stock to open the Stock Line Reservation window. Reservations are made here in the same way we reserved the main component part. To reserve the parts, double-click anywhere on an available stock line. The reservation window opens, displaying the quantity going out for repair. Select OK. Repeat this procedure for each piece part. When you have finished reserving parts, close the Piece Parts window. In the Items panel, there is now a check mark in the column labeled PCS. This indicates that piece parts are reserved to the repair order. We are now ready to print the repair order. Select the Global Action button. The Global Options window opens. Select Print Repair Order. The Repair Order Print Settings window opens. Select Edit to make changes to the print settings. In our example, we will select the checkboxes to Print Item Notes, Print All Items, and Print Piece Parts. We will also verify that the Copies field is set to 1, the Destination drop-down menu is set to Preview, and the Document drop-down menu is set to Standard Repair Order. When finished, select OK. To generate the printed repair order, select Print. The Print Preview window opens, displaying our repair order. Notice that the repair order item is listed first, with the piece parts directly under the part number, and below that, the item notes. Finish reviewing the repair order, and when you are ready, click the Printer icon at the top of the preview to send it to the printer. Select Close to return to the Repair Order window. To recap what we learned in this lesson, we created a new repair order, added a line item and reserved stock, added and reserved piece parts, added notes and printed the repair order. You may now proceed to Module 8, Segment 2. Receiving a Repair Order